June is PTSD Awareness Month, and Matthew Shelton from the PTSD Foundation of America is in studio with us to talk about some of the effects of PTSD and to help raise awareness right here in the Low Country. There are some events they're putting on that you can get involved with. Thanks for coming in today, Matthew. Yes, ma'am. Now, you got involved not too long ago because you were telling me that you suffered from PTSD as yes, a veteran. Yes, Tell us more about that. Um, I went to Camp Hope in October of two uh, September of 2018, and um, I was uh, suffering myself pretty uh, heavily from PTSD. Um, it's a great program out there in Houston, Texas. Um, they have a five-acre facility. It's got its own uh, gym, its own little uh, recreation area, and also apartment buildings with uh, beds, uh, kitchen, living room area, all for, free to the veteran. And there's help out there, and yes. I think that's the message you're trying to tell other veterans and other people that suffer from PTSD, because it's not just veterans, but how did it help you? Um, it's just uh, that peer-to-peer -peer mentoring and knowing that I'm not the only one suffering through the same things. Uh, that, you know, you're not out, out there alone, that there's also people out there that are going through the same thing as you. And sometimes you think that you're alone and that nobody's there for you, but you really are, you know, among friends and family that uh, can help you. And what has been the most challenging thing dealing with it? Um, I think the biggest challenge is uh, trying to keep yourself from being isolated and being away from family. Um, I think that's a tough thing that a lot of veterans suffer with is Absolutely. it's hard not to isolate yourself and kind of hide yourself from the public and not really want to get out there and, and, and talk to somebody about what's going on. And, you know, if you're not comfortable with the VA, that's kind of what we're here for. We're that peer-to-peer -peer mentoring, you know. It's uh, us, you know, that are combat veterans ourselves mm -hmm. that can talk to you and kind of, you know, help you through everything. So. And so people can call you. You're located right here in Charleston, and they can get involved and find out more about events. Yes, they can. They can call uh Call our crisis line or, or call our main office in Houston and they can immediately connect them with me and it's just as simple as that. As soon as they reach out to them, you know, within 24 hours I'll get a call or even sooner and we can reach out to them and we can help the veteran with anything they need. We can reach out to any kind of local resource and get them the help that they need. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to add before we go? Um, we have a, an event coming up in October 16th at Daniel Island Club. It's put on by Graystar, which is a property management company here in Charleston. Oh, I know Graystar. <laughs> and uh, it's at Daniel Island Club yeah. on October 16th. It's uh, our second annual uh, right. golf tournament. And last year we raised over $280,000, and we hope to go a little higher this year. All right, Matthew. Well, thank you so much for coming in here today. Thank you for your service and tell, telling us more about uh, this so people can get involved as well. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.